Alright, hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Pawn Star for Hire here, bringing you episode 2 of this week's Gun of the Week. And uh, we're rolling with the MP5K with the red dot sight. And uh, it's about heads up in between uh, the best attachment for this gun. And, uh, you know, if I had to put like all the attachments that are commonly used for this gun, I'd put the red dot sight, akimbo, holographic, the rest are garbage. Just so we can get this clear. This game was. Um, a really good game to me, and uh, not because I was on underpass and regular TDM and got a 50 kill game on this, but it was uh, because it goes to show that deaths don't matter. This was a pretty good game. Um, you get to see a lot of different, you know, things, and, and I rush in this whole game. I mean, it's it's what you see, and you see me sneak and weasel my way in, and for some reason, every time I die, I get stuck in between like three guys. It it gets a little crazy. But I have to admit, after playing this game, and, and I've used the holographic a few times, and the red dot a few times, the red dot sticks out more to me with this gun. And I warned him not to go in there, but uh, for you guys that don't know, or you know, obviously don't know, I am human and I have family, and that was my little brother. I see my little brother once every couple years, and I recently found out that uh, he has PlayStation and everything like that, so uh, I've been teaching him the quick scope and stuff like that, so it's been a pretty cool feature, so... Uh, he's got a big brother that's popular on YouTube, and he was had his buddies over bragging, and it was pretty cool. I'm, I'm, it's always a good thing to have family that, you know, especially a younger brother or sister that can look up to you, and, you know, video games might not be the most impressive thing ever, but, uh, you know, he likes to play video games, and if I could be, like, a role model for him, that's a good thing, you know? I don't, you know, smoke or drink or do anything bad, so, you know, video games is... One of my hobbies, um, he didn't know how I was with sports or art because I was never around and that's some of my gifts are like drawing and uh, I'm really good at football and stuff like that, but uh, I don't know. So that's, that's why this game meant something to me is because I got a chance to play with my little brother for, I, I think I saw him a couple days ago for the first time in two years. And uh, you know, I forgot how old he was. I'm, I've got 10 years on him, he's like 11 years old and going on 12 years soon. So it's it was a cool thing. I kind of had it's not necessarily a falling out with my father it's just uh we were more friends than anything and i and uh we were we weren't like the best father-son relationship so i don't know now that we're done with my gossip for right now here we go trying to do something is if you're paying attention you could do this you know the holographic is semi okay with but if you're watching this right now where i'm trying to use the red dot with the distance the red dot is like the only sight in the game for a short range gun that is semi accurate when you burst. I don't know what it is, but it just seems more accurate. I, I really don't understand it. So if you were ever playing on a map, that's why I choose the red dot sight over anything. A holographic is good, but I would have not been able to pick him off in such, you know, as, and keep as much clip as I did. And then look at the spray. OMG, OMG. And uh, I don't know. There's a couple good moments in this game. I hope you guys really enjoy it. So when it comes down to the MP5K, Garbage with anything but the red dot sight. Holographic's good. Um, it would it'd be okay. The holographic could possibly be okay on the nerf ass. Um, it's more of a mid-range map, and this has some, you know, long, like long highways and side streets and windows and stuff people pop you from. So, uh, And unfortunately, what I'm going to do here is I need you guys to determine this, because what I wanted to do, and I've seen a lot of people like, oh, you keep having to switch to your second and you run out of ammo. I wanted to sit, sit and rock a certain set of kill streaks and a certain set of perks um just to keep it balanced on the simple fact that oh and geez that a simple fact yeah bite me um for the fact that you could like uh you know for sleight of hand i can use that for anything and i think it is the best first perk if you're running lower kill streaks if you're only using 579 and you're rushing all the time obviously you're gonna die sleight of hand is the best perk to have not only for the reloads the sights everything it just it's just an amazing perk Scavenger is my favorite with a few guns, uh, such as the ACR. Uh, very few that I would always use Scavenger over Slide of Hand with. But uh, these guys think I should change up the perks a little bit. I wanted to stick Slide of Hand so I can keep the same, you know, Pavlo, Harrier, Predator. And then I could stick with the same, you know, same typical setups that I always do for all of them. And I, and I kept Slide of Hand for the, for the reason that if I did happen to get voted an LMG, I don't know about you guys, but I can't and won't use an LMG without Slide of Hand, ever. Ever. It matters exponentially. It just has to happen that way. Scavenger with a gun like that is garbage. Not unless you plan on camping. If you plan on, you know, hitting behind the barriers and going prone and taking two days to reload, then that's fine. I'm not a camper. I, I can't do that in a gameplay or a TDM. I like to rush. As you could tell throughout this whole game. I can rush, 
to the outside and get behind their base and do stuff like that. Because I'm sticking to the outside, you know, a lot of people confuse that with camping because I'm not getting any action right now. And uh, I don't, I don't know. I think, I think, you know, most people like to rush right in there. I think there's two kinds of rushing. People like to rush in there, and others like to, you know, rush to get advantage on somebody. Like uh, I decided to, of course you know, rush around where others would rush straight in there and get owned. Of course, you see more action when you rush right in there, but you also die more. And, uh, you know, if you rush around and you get them from behind and, you know, you make them your little boyfriend, then it's all good. And that's what it comes down to is, uh, see, I don't know what that was, dude. This was, they were just flocking to me, man. Like a bunch of fat kids and I was wearing, a, you know, a beef jerky vest or something, dude. They just came in there like crazy. And uh, I was lucky to get some decent kill streaks in this. The kill streaks didn't do too much, but uh, this is a uh, you know, and this is where I go, and I go right back to the same thing because I feel you know if, if it worked the first time, why not do it a second time? I seen a couple of them were snipers, so they're probably still sitting on that you know whole little bridge, and they're probably just popping a couple shots down. So you know, finding how to properly rush with a certain gun and finding the right attachment is key to being successful in this game. Uh, a lot of people differ, so you've got to find your own groove. I'm putting these up to uh, encourage you guys to try things. If you've never tried the red dot sight on this gun, give it a try. I guarantee it'll 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 impact you. But anyways, this is uh this is about wrapped up. Look forward for the next one will be the holographic boys. Bonus off for hire. Peace out. Get it.